Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 46. Inside this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of mutators in level 8. In the last video, we had seen the concept of accessors. This is just opposite of that. In case of accessors, we have used the concept while printing our values inside output screen. But inside this case, this concept is going to apply when we save our value inside database. So if I back to editor, let's say that inside this db means inside this student table, by the help of a student model, we are going to insert our data. So go to structure. So to insert any new row inside this table, we want name, email and mobile number. Because for these columns, let's say created at and updated at, we will have the default values. So by the help of mutator based concept, we are going to manipulate or update values before inserting inside this student table. So back to editor. If you go inside this service controller, inside this service controller in the last video, this is the model what we had loaded and by the help of that model, we had read all the data. But inside this case, inside this video, we are going to insert a new row inside student's table. So let's say public function. Simply let's say we have a create method or let's say we have add method. And inside this add method, by the help of our student model, we are going to insert our data. So first of all, we need to create an instance. So let's say student new and this is all about student model. So by the help of this student model, we are going to access our column. So let's say student. We have the name column. Keep in mind, we need three values called name, email and mobile. So for the name, let's say we are passing, let's say this is a dummy name. In case of email address, I'm going to write a dummy email and also for mobile number we have mobile as a key and we are passing a dummy number and finally by the help of save method we are going to save our data so this should be student and we are going to use the save method and inside this if let's say we had done our insertion so simply by using this echo statement, let's say within h1 tag, student has been inserted. So if we save all these changes, go inside this web.php, let's create a route, let's say route, we are going to use get method and inside this simply the route is something create, we are going to use service controller and inside this we have a add method. So if we go look all these changes again, copy this route back to browser and if I pass create here, a student has been inserted. So back to table, click on browse and if we reload this structure inside this descending order, so as we can see at the 508 number ID, we have all the data what we have inserted. So let's say that before inserting any new row inside the student's table, in case of mobile number, we want to add plus 91. Plus 91 indicates all about country code for the India. So what I will do, before inserting mobile number, we are going to use the concept of mutators. Mutators is simply going to manipulate values before inserting inside this database. So how can we do? Back to editor. As we can see inside this service controller, we have this kind of value. Now if I change this name to something else, here we have the email address, something a dummy email. Here we have a something dummy number. Now Right now inside this number, in front of this number, we are not going to pass plus 91 here. Instead of passing inside this string value, simply we are going to add 
or manipulate by the help of mutator based concept. So back to model. So to create any mutators, we have the method name convention as public function. We are going to use sat as a keyword. And next, we need to write the column name. So we are going to manipulate the mobile number. So mobile as a column. So set mobile. And simply we need to write attribute. Inside this, we are passing our value. Now inside this mutator block, what I will do with this value? This is the value actually indicates all about this value. So after this getting this value, we need to update this attribute. So what I will do, simply this attributes, we need to update this mobile number and I want to add this plus 91 with this value. This value indicates the string value what we are getting here and we are going to add the plus 91 in front of that value. After updating this value, again we are going to assign the mobile inside attributes. So save all these changes. Here we have all these values. Go and reload this. A student has been created. Go and reload this table. And inside this table, as we can see inside this 509, we are getting our mobile number with plus 91 code added. This is the use of mutators. In the last video, we had seen the accessors which is going to manipulate or update our value before printing inside this output screen. But in case of mutators, it is going to update, manipulate before saving inside our database. So keep in mind, the most important thing is all about the method name convention. This is get email attribute. If we have created underscore at, so we have the method name as get created at attribute. If suppose we are going to set the value for this created at, so simply we need to write set as a keyword, created at as a column and attribute. We need to pass our value and inside this mutators, we are going to return our attribute value. So now from the last video and with this video, we now completed our concept of accessors and mutators. So from the next video, we will see some more concept in Laravel. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.